Hello everyone, this is an A1 Mini. I'm new to 3D printing and I recently had an issue where my extruder was clicking. I thought something might have jammed up in the extruder. So what I did is I ended up taking it apart and finding nothing. Ended up being a nozzle issue. After that experience, I thought it would be a great idea to share how I tore it down and reassembled all the parts for the front of the extruder. A few of the steps I do highlight in this video because I think a little bit extra attention to detail is needed. Nothing major, but some things I found out when I was assembling and disassembling the extruder. One thing to note is the process should be the same for both the A1 and A1 Mini. To start, remove the front cover. Pops right off. Then remove the sock here over the nozzle slash hot end. Next, unlatch the hot end. It's a quick access one, so it just pops right off. Highlighted here are all the screws that will need to be removed. All the screws can be removed with the Allen key that came with the printer. The majority of the teardown process will be sped up. Any steps where I believe extra attention to detail is needed, I will slow the video back down and explain those steps. I realize this now as I'm editing the video, the black screws do not need to be removed. When removing the filament hub, be extremely careful as there is a small ribbon cable that is easily damaged. When removing this cover, be careful as the extruder tension spring has a tendency to pop out. As you can see here, I was ready for it and caught it. We can now inspect the extruder gears for any signs of damage or if any filament has gunked them up. Now we're going to do everything we just did, but in reverse order. There will be two or three areas I will highlight, as they can be a little challenging, and I struggled with them my first time I tore this down. When reinstalling the tension spring and cap, be sure to orient the cap to the outside as the screw that was removed earlier controls the tension on the extruder. When reinstalling the filament cutter, be sure the cutter is in the orientation that I'm showing right here, as this can be reinstalled and not be in the correct location, 
and the printer will fail to cut filaments if reinstalled like this. It'll also make a horrible noise. Trust me, I know from first-hand experience when I did this the first time. Once everything was reassembled, I verified the extruder was working as intended. I also recommend doing a small test print. You may have to go through the recalibration process. And that's it! The disassembly and reassembly of the A1-A1 Mini extruder. If you made it this far into the video, it would be really helpful if you'd like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you for watching.